Welcome today's fun facts are all about bees and flowers. What's the connection? When a bee lands on a flower, the hairs all over the bee's body attract pollen grains through electrostatic forces. Stiff hairs on their legs enable them to groom the pollen into specialized brushes or pockets on their legs or body and then carry it back to their nest for the queen bee. This is so cool. The little bee, which I should call the little busy bee, and is a dedicated worker. The little busy bee makes sure he carries out his most important duties. Everyone knows that bees buzz around flowers in their quest for nectar. Bees and flowers, of course, co-evolved with a long-standing symbiotic relationship. The bees depend on flowers for nectar, which they use to produce honey, and flowers need bees to help pollinate other flowers. This relationship between bees and flowers is known as pollination. In our short video clip, you're watching pollination in action. The little bee that flies out at the end is headed back to his colony. Bees and flowering plants have a mutualistic relationship where both species benefit. Flowers provide bees with nectar and pollen, which worker bees collect to feed their entire colonies. Bees provide flowers with the means to reproduce by spreading pollen from flower to flower, which is called pollination. We are coming to the end and we hope you enjoyed our fun facts about bees and flowers. Bees make excellent pollinators because most of their life is spent collecting pollen, a source of protein that they feed to their developing offspring and contribute to the delicious honey we put on our pancakes. Remember, when a bee lands on a flower, there is work to be done. Remember to subscribe to our channel and be notified when we post fun facts, funny videos, top travel destinations, and make sure you check out all our YouTube shorts posted on our channel. Comment, like, and share today's fun facts. Thank you for visiting the Bullhead City Guide.